Because what I was hoping to meet was just to have anybody to like me, right? What I was finding is I was meeting people that I actually liked. I was getting people to come out of their own shell. All right, so today I'm gonna to react to Cody Ko and his girlfriend, Kelsey. Cody Ko is the famous reaction artist, <laughs> comedian, I don't know what to call him, vlogger, YouTuber. He seems like a great guy. He's funny. I relate to him. I'd like to be his friend one day, hopefully. Maybe. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> a lot of people had uh, requested that I react to these two. So why don't we do it? But before we do it, I just want to let you know, I just set up a Discord server for my subscribers. Uh, the link is in the description, everybody. It is a community for like-minded people that are all interested in learning and improving themselves in social skills, relationships, dating, charm, psychology, individuality, get together, talk to each other, learn from each other. But without further ado, let's get into a Cody Co and Kelsey, I don't know her last name. Cool that one, Zoe. What if this is a puppy or something? <laughs> <laughs> and I take care of it. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? As some of you may know, I got a P.O. box. And uh, so we checked it today, and we got a decent amount of mail. This is Kelsey, by the way. Hey. And so we're gonna open it, see what we get. What are you hoping for? Cheez-Its. <laughs> Just Cheez-Its. That's all I want. Dear Cody, thank you so much for opening up a P.O. box. I have seen all of your YouTube videos and listened to the podcast. You only record us so long. <laughs> you mentioned in one of your podcasts that you really appreciate your 20-something fans because you're 25 and most of your fans are pretty young. I'm 23 and I think you have to be fully grown to really understand the social commentary that you incorporate into your jokes. Aww. Yeah, it's like a more it's like a more intelligent type of right. humor. It's more <laughs> subtle. It's like British humor. Parks and Rec. <laughs> Thanks, Grace. Do the trash bin. <laughs> this one's from uh, Manlius Center Road and it looks like it's got some dicks on it. Good. Dick. <laughs> Dick. Dick gummy. <laughs> Bag of dicks. To scale. <laughs> now what I could say off the bat is I noticed that Cody and Kelsey have the same sense of humor. And this brings up something that I think is really important, something I had to teach myself throughout the years. Uh, when I was in my early life, like, I don't know, like 18 to like 20 or something like that, I was so convinced that nobody would ever be able to relate to my personality, my weird sense of humor. I was just too out there for people. I wasn't able to really like bring a relatable, cool thing to people. So I had to fake it. There was nothing more wrong to do than that. Faking it, acting, like having a fake personality, like at the bar, You're like, hey, hey, hey. like, <laughs> what do you think of that? Ooh. It just felt horrible to do for so many years. Uh, nobody liked me. It was just, it was just a bad experience on both sides for me and the unfortunate people that I went up to and tried impressing. Over the years, I told myself, listen, Anthony, this isn't working. Your fake self isn't working. So if you think your real self isn't gonna work either, might as well just do your real self because the fake self is just as bad as what you think your real self is gonna be. And I said, listen, fuck it. I am just going to put out my real sense of humor, my real weirdness to people. And I don't care what happens. If they don't like me, they don't like me. If they like me, that's great too. And I'm not even talking about putting your weird self out there after like the first hour of like a date or somebody that you're meeting for the first time. And the first hour is like you still playing by the rules, doing what you think is acceptable. Nah, I said, listen, out of the gate, I am going to be the exact self that I am. I'm not going to hide it one bit. And what I found was I was pretty polarizing. A lot of people just did what my greatest fears were. They just didn't like me. They were just like, you're weird, go away. And then the other half of the people that I met were the types of people that I was hoping to meet all along. In fact, even better, because what I was hoping to meet was just to have anybody to like me, right? 
what I was finding is I was meeting people that I actually liked. I was getting people to come out of their own shell. And I realized, holy crap, Almost everybody is putting on a facade. Why? Because nobody wants to be ridiculed in public. Nobody wants to be rejected for their true self in public. So when they see somebody that is doing that, is putting out their real self, they go, wow, this guy's exactly like me. I'm gonna come out and show him my real self too. What happened is I would actually start meeting people faster than anybody else in the room. I would start making connections with people faster than anybody else. Why? Because I was cutting right to the point. I wanted people that didn't like me to get the fuck out the way. I don't want them anywhere near me. You don't like me, I don't care. Let's move on, let's go on to the next person. I know the person that I'm gonna connect with is somewhere in this room right now. And I wanna find that person. And the best way for me to do that is to stop with the bullshit and put my real as real as real self out there. This helped me so much and it was freeing. It like made me feel so comfortable in social situations. Like I no longer feel anxious in social situations anymore. Why? Because in my head I go, I know that as long as I be my truest self, I am going to have the right people just come out of the woodwork and find me and me find them and the wrong people just move out of the way as quickly as possible. I was like, wow. And then I realized, wait a second. In the past, I was looking to be accepted by people that I thought weren't going to accept me in the first place. Now, I'm no longer trying to be accepted. And that feels really good. It like takes the weight off my back. Now, I'm looking for people that are just like me, that are people that have my same sense of humor, that relate to me on so many levels. So there's no anxiety when you're doing that. There's only excitement, there's only fun. And this is a completely different headspace than most people go about meeting people and in dating. They are looking to put on this facade that in hopes gets them accepted. They're putting out their most attractive idea of who they think people want. And um, that gives me, at least, a ton of anxiety. I hate anxiety. I want my real self to be out there. I craved it all my life. And once I started committing to that and staying true to who I am and staying true to what I wanted um, in my relationships, staying true to what I wanted to be in social situations, it's when everything changed and it's when I felt so much more confident in myself and happy in social situations. So anyway, I just went on a long tangent, but I thought that was really important to mention because I'm sure that Cody and Kelsey probably had a similar situation. Who knows? I, I don't know. Maybe they even have a video of how they met and uh, maybe I need to watch that and find that. But what I'm hoping for is that when Cody and Kelsey first met, they very quickly realized that they connected and they connected on so many levels, including humor. Of <laughs> Eat a bag of dicks. <laughs> you know what? I fucking will. I will. Mm -hmm. You need my lighter? <laughs> All right, thank you to whoever that was. I still have a small one. It's got a popcorn kernel in it and a penny. <laughs> and some soccer stickers? Good. They're going right on my right on my laptop. <laughs> in all seriousness, I would like to thank you for being actually funny and being of the few YouTubers who make me laugh out loud on a monthly a basis. Get it cuz Wait a second. I want I want to put my like PO box out there. I want people to send me stuff. That would sounds fun. I like personal letters. Nobody writes me letters. If you want to send me stuff, I don't care what it is. Put it in the comments. Maybe I'll make a PO box. That sounds kind of fun. Double black licorice, double salted. I love, oh, smell that. I love black licorice. Oh my God, <laughs> that smells like chemicals. <laughs> this doesn't smell like you should put it in your body. We didn't weep. Is it good? <laughs> it tastes one. It's so salty. This is like my salt for the week. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> They're so bad. My tongue hurts. Huh? Mm -hmm. No. Did you already finish the first one? No, still in there. Not only is it unbelievably salty. That is so weird how some people have like a strong aversion to licorice and some people love it. I am on the side of loving licorice. I even had it this weekend. We went to a candy store and we got salted licorice and my girlfriend got 
sour gummies because she hates the licorice. This one? I mean, you could have put a little bit of effort into it. The puppy got it. <laughs> this one's from Julia. It says, open for a special surprise. No, just a letter. What is it, the 80s? I love writing in cursive. What is it, the 40s? Writing in cursive? Nice. With I pencil? I <laughs> Ever heard of a pen? He's nice. just roasting Thank his you. fans. No, you're supposed to be a good cop. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. I love <laughs> cursive. Can you open this one? This is it. I can feel it. What is it? I don't know. What the fuck is this? It says it's a magic gift. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> hey, Cody, go fuck yourself oh, at it's, Greg's it's side. It's a dildo. Like, it's like, go fuck yourself. That's definitely <laughs> a sex you toy. You can with this. Oh, it's like a mold your own dick? No. It definitely it's, is. No, it's not a mold your own dick. Yeah, it's it just is. a dildo to fuck yourself with. Let's see. <laughs> Oh, it's a flashlight. It's a flashlight. <laughs> oh, this is like a real fucking, this is a real That's deal. That's heavy, like you can tell how no. heavy that is. I can't believe I got you a microphone. Stop, I hate that. Man, I want to feel it. Those things are expensive too. <laughs> Not that I would know. It's got like powder on it. It's like already pre-lubed. This is, cool. I guess, where the jizz drains out. <laughs> thank you. Oh, cool, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that wasn't cheap. Hey man, just want to say that you're the funniest person ever. Your sense of humor fucks. Your vines shaped my sense of humor in high school. Your content has also helped me through some hard fucking times. Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh at that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for sending us shit. If you want to send us shit for the next video, you can send it to this address. It'll be in the description too. Send us Cheez-Its. Oh dang, Please they're in Marina Del Rey. They're like a mile from me. And we got a flashlight. Okay, but actually, thank you. Yeah, thank you for the flashlight. I'm gonna need it later. It's true. Actually, I'm gonna... Uh, I gotta go I'll to... I'll close out the vid. You close out... I'm gonna go, I gotta take a shit. Alrighty. That was a fun one. I mean, what's more fun than reacting to Cody Ko, huh? 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 There's nothing more cool than Cody Ko, huh? I think the reason why the internet loves Cody Ko so much is because he is just that down to earth. He's like the universal down to earth friend. The guy that you know is never gonna like be weird with people whenever you bring him around new friends or something like that. Like you could just see yourself, I don't know, watching a movie with him or something. I don't totally, totally don't fantasize about that. But yeah, it's nice to see a couple that just has such natural chemistry. You could tell that they've been together for a while. I don't really know. They could have be together for just a year, but it seems like they've known each other for years. It seems like they've been friends before they even got into a relationship. That's the type of chemistry it looks like and the comfort that they have with each other. Um, but the one thing that I really do want you to take away is if you are looking for somebody that you really want to connect with, you want to get away from this whole game, this whole challenge of trying to attract people that you know you don't even like in the first place. Yes, there is a whole like category of guys in the world, especially guys that are looking to like hook up with girls that like never liked them in high school. And these guys would probably never want to hang out with these girls either or anyway, but they want to conquer them. They want to conquer what they couldn't in the past. So that like, so they like build this personality that they think is going to trick them into hooking up. And like, if you are about that challenge, go for it guys. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here to just do it the easy way. I just want to meet people without thinking. I want to meet people while being myself because I feel relaxed. I feel like that's when it's fun. I don't like challenges. They make me anxious and like scared. Uh, my most real confident self is when I'm just being me. And I realized that was the easiest way for me and the fastest way for me to meet people that I'm attracted to as well. Um, you would be so surprised how many attractive people there are that are also weird as fuck. And so doing these YouTube videos, cause I just started doing these YouTube videos like a couple months ago and uh, I still have a lot of, anxi lot of anxiety doing it. Like I have a ton of anxiety right now recording this. Um, but it's almost like reteaching myself to be myself all over again. The only positive part about doing the videos is I know exactly what to practice, how to get my real self 
how to, how to get myself to come out of my shell, even though I feel all of the anxiety. Whereas in social situations, I don't like feel, I hardly feel anxiety anymore because I've just done it so, so, so much that I know those like pathways in my brain to make me feel so comfortable and so myself. But on camera, I still have this like feeling of like, oh, I'm performing right now. There's lights on me. I'm looking at a camera. I'm not looking at a person. So it feels performative, but I am training myself to just trust my inclinations and let my real self out um, and to relax and just to embrace whatever vibe I'm feeling at the moment. So you're watching me in that process right now. Um, but that's it for today, guys. I hope you learned something, something. What I learned is get a damn PO box and people will send you shit. So look in the description and maybe you'll find that. But again, I just want to bring up my discord server. It is been probably the best idea I've ever come up with already right now. There are people in there that are chatting, talking about social skills, psychology, relationship building, dating, charm, individuality and you could join them if you'd like. This is a place that is so welcoming, so friendly, and there's a couple channels that you can interact with people. First is the Socialize channel where you actually get to make friends, connect. The other, the other channels are about actually learning and giving advice to each other, talking about your experiences socially in relationships. And it is called Anthony's Research Laboratory for the uh, Worldwide Advancement of Charm and Relationships. Get it in the link in the description. That's it, everybody. If you want to watch another video, well, you could watch it right now.